Dean, the unbeaten run comes to an end. What was your take on that game? Uh, disappointing, really. Um, didn't feel like we really laid a glove on them. Um, you know, they're, they're an awkward team to play against, and obviously, back of their result on Saturday, I think they sort of come in with a sort of new purpose and you know, and play well at times. To be fair to them, but um, we was just a yard off it all over the pitch tonight. Seemed a bit shot shy as well, particularly in the first half. It took 38 minutes, I think, before the first shot was was taken. What would you put that down to? I don't really, I, I don't really know. I mean, we had. You know, we get to certain areas. I mean, we we just sort of overplay. You know, I think there was times where we needed one person in the box, and we sort of we had six ringing it, and you you got to commit numbers and, and, and put people in the box, and um, you know, we just want a little bit too much defeat all the time. I think sometimes we got just people running behind or taking a gamble, and um, we just didn't do, just didn't do it, and um, you know, just the quality was off, and we just we just couldn't really get a rhythm, and it was just you know, a disappointing night. And then of course, when the goal comes, it, it felt like. There was a, a drop in in not motivation, but it just felt like morale had all of a sudden be was sucked out of the team. Yeah, it was it was difficult. I mean, the way that we were playing, it, you know, was it was a little bit deeper, and and when that goal goes in, you got to try and then get to the ball, and um, it was causing us trouble. They were finding space, and um, you know, it, it puts you on the back foot, and you sort of you look a bit ragged. Um, but it didn't help that when we won it back, we just gave it away so cheaply that you know you're then out of position, and it. it just goes round and round in a circle. So it was a combination of just quality and, um, as you said, I think for 10, 15 minutes, it, it kind of took the wind out of ourselves, um, you know, longer than, than you'd, you'd have liked, really. Of course, you know, the, the, the unbeaten run has given you this opportunity to not be in the drop zone for, for such a period of time now and still puts you in with that chance of, 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 of avoiding the drop. Yeah, I mean, it was nice while it lasted and, um, you know, we got some decent results along the way, but... Um, you know, the end goal is the end of the season. You know, it's 46 games, any points that we can get. So, um, you know, disappointed that we didn't get something tonight because I felt like we you know, we, we could have done um, results kind of went our way. And so it's, you know, we go again Saturday and, um, you know, at this point, if I was disappointed and sort of uh, angry as we are, it's everything towards Saturday now and it's kind of that... Um, that mentality. I think it was early in the season. You'd be asking questions and a bit more of an inquiry, but you know we just don't have time, and it's just you know we'll go through it a little bit, and then we've got to dust ourselves off, and we have to you know produce better on uh, Saturday. You know the old cliche is that it's always going to go down to the wire, but this fe season feels like it's now going to go down to that final game, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah, I think uh, I think the way the fixtures pan out, it it looks that way. Um, you know we've got to try and do everything we can on Saturday to try and get a result and. Um, give ourselves the best chance, you know, and it's, it's um, all eyes on Saturday now. I mean, we've asked you this plenty of times, but how big in the club's history are these next three games going to be? Huge, huge. I mean, uh, relegation affects everyone. It's um, you know, not just players, it's staff and uh, academy budgets, you know, it's, it's, it is the club. Um, and so it's, um, it's as big as it can, as, as, as it can be. Uh, is it important that this is the fifth game in a row where the team has conceded to a advantage, and is it important just to cut that out as quickly as possible? Yes, it's all, you know, every team in the world doesn't want to concede first. Um, you know, if we could have a magic wand and didn't do it, then we wouldn't. Um, you know, we know we don't want to do that, and we you know we work hard not to. But it's, it's life; it happens. Was it dangerous to come up against a team that's come off the back of such a heavy defeat at the weekend, and was probably looking for a reaction out of this one? I think so. I think um, you know it's that natural reaction. I know that they've got nothing to play for, but it's just the personal pride of Charlton. I think after that result, it would have probably spurred them on, and you know they, they wanted the performance after after their game. But you know that's that's just the way it is. You know fixtures, everyone has their ups and downs, and um, you know they come and play well tonight, and uh, you know, credit to them. But I think we was also a yard off the pace.